Yes. This is what we're going to do today. This is a little bird collage. First of all, you need a sheet of black cardstock. It has a lovely smooth base surface, which is perfect for the Posca pen or gel markers. With gel markers, you can get a finer line, but for this project, I thought I would start out with my Posca pens. The line at the top, the white line that looks like half of a hanger hook, uh, is just a mistake that I made. So I turned the paper over and started again. Now I made a bird shape. You can find birds, if you Google birds, you can get a lot of images of birds. And of course, birds, birds, birds come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. This bird is pretty much just a, an imaginary bird. For this project, I thought it would be easier if we just make a bird shape rather than trying to make it a certain particular kind of bird. Because we're only using a couple of colors. We're going to use the white and the red Posca pens for this little bird. I was looking at crows this morning on my walk with my dog. There are some beautiful crows who follow me along in the mornings and their wings are so beautiful and I was noticing this morning how how they're formed. The top of the wing has small feathers and then there are longer feathers and then the third string of feathers are the long feathers that flare out when they're flying. Now this is not a crow. It's just a bird, but I was thinking of the crow's feathers when I was doing it. If you look at birds on uh, Google, or if you make a Pinterest board of your favorite birds, you'll have some reference material to use as inspiration for shapes and colors that you might choose for a project like this. I started this because at Christmas time I made some cards at Christmas that were birds and everyone liked them so much that I thought it's it everyone loves nature these days it's so precious and we know how beautiful they are and so why not so why don't we celebrate nature so a landscape with a bird seems to be something that I want to share today because I found that my friends enjoyed it so much. Oh, look at that. We're not even recording. As I was saying, I thought I wasn't recording, but actually I am. Now, these little birds are things I did with Posca pens and gel pens on black card stock. It's very meditative to sit down with a piece of black card and draw designs on it. I think I'll do another project with black card and some gel pens. So we've got our bird done. Now this is a different bird uh, for this card um, than the one I just drew for you. I used a card shape from another card that I am using just as a piece of paper to use for gluing and measuring and it's just a card that I've been fooling around with. You can get colored stock to make a colored card. And you could actually do this design directly onto a card that's already made. And you'd have a lovely handmade card for a friend, a special friend. What I did with my cards at Christmas time was I scanned them and turned them into... I, I changed the colors and played with the colors in Photoshop and... I made quite a number of cards of birds. You could do the same with this one when it's finished. You could change the colors digitally. And you could even make pr prints or put them up for sale as prints 
on spoon flower, I suppose. Um, I haven't got that far with my work, but it's just an idea that came flying into my head. I cut very carefully around the white edge so that I have a black line between the bird and the white line and the and the watercolor. So we have a black line around the bird add to add to the white line, which gives it a little more um, contrast when we glue it down against the red. I uh, did the the pointy bits at the end with my scissors because it was easier to do it this way than, than to do it in the beginning. Okay, so I got a glue stick and I glued the bird down using my piece of card that I've been using to test markers on and keep the tablecloth clean. There. A little bit of glue on it and glue it down on this piece of watercolor paper. Now that watercolor paper is just some discarded watercolor paper that I did a long time ago. I have quite a lot of colored painted paper, which I've I've been I've painted with acrylic, with ink, with salt and watercolor. I have quite a bit of painted paper. And sometimes I can use it in a piece of art, cut it up. I like this one is being used for this project. Just a piece of discarded red that I didn't know what to do with. It was watercolor on watercolor paper. Now the Posca pens work okay over the watercolor uh, cold press. It's a bit rough. It would work smoother over hot press watercolor paper, but I didn't have that kind of paper with this project. So that's why I didn't use gel pens. Uh, gel pens will work on top of the watercolor paper, but they work better on a smooth surface like cardstock. And that's the reason why I'm using the Posca pens. They're a little more appropriate for a, a rougher surface. So I added the legs by just adding lines and then some toes, one, two, three, and then one, two, three toes, and then a back toe, and then a back toe, and then we have our bird on a branch. Now I was going to put the landscape behind. Now I live in Vancouver, and in Vancouver we have a mountain landscape behind the city to the north of the city. So it's part of our lives to know that those hills are there. I know everyone doesn't have it, but. And then uh, we have rolling hills, but um, this is an imaginary landscape. It doesn't represent anything in particular, but I, I like put, putting the mountains in because it, it makes me, I can pull the design a little higher towards the sky. So I made some lines for the landscape. It's a kind of British Columbia landscape with the rolling hills and islands. And I didn't put any water in this scene. Now I'm making those lines as a pattern against one of the shapes to give it a sense of being like a rolling hill side that's curved and going downward. And I continued it across behind the bird. I could have put this background in before I put the bird in, but the way I was working at Christmas time, I I worked in this way, and I think it it for me it was more impromptu and just spur of the moment, following my instinct for drawing. It was more fun than if I'd planned the background beforehand and put the bird on top. I don't, I don't know. It would be a little bit different of a process. This way, I am going over the black lines a little bit, but I'm not worried because when I'm finished this project, I'll be able to go over the black with my black Posca pen and cover up the places where the 
white paint goes over the black lines. And then to add some interest to the project, I decided to make a kind of round shapes uh, in this space between those two white lines. I was thinking of river rocks when I was doing it. And I was, we have a lot of round river rocks that are very smooth in the creeks around coming down from the mountains. But I wasn't sure that it was working that well. But it did it does make it does add interest to to the design. Maybe makes it a little too busy, but mm, as I said, I never know how things are going to turn out. But okay. So I made some more round rounded lines curved to give it a sense that there's sort of a mound of earth that's shaped round. There. And then I started doing something that I wish I hadn't. I decided to add a little pattern into those circular shapes. My river rocks. And the minute I started doing this, I realized I don't think I like that, but I couldn't go back. So I kept on going and I put those little shapes like a little branch, a little plant inside each round thing. So they look like perhaps little round plants growing on the ground way beneath the tree where this bird is sitting. The tree is very high up and the ground below in white is very low down. That's how I'm seeing it. I'm not sure if other people will see it that way, but it's very, it's very calming to take the time to put in patterns. It's very calming and soothing and some days I feel kind of fried and when I want to relax and calm down, <laughs> I get out my Posca pens and some colored paper and I make a little landscape. Now, I pulled out the red Posca pen because the rest of it is red. The paper underneath is red. So I thought it would just add something to the mountains, make them feel like another shape there, more steep, higher up and steep. There's nothing real about this. Um, I'm not trying for realism here. I'm just following uh, the creative flow, I guess you would call it, or creative process. I wasn't sure if this was going to turn out, but I never am sure that anything's going to turn out. But if you don't just finish it, you'll never know. So I thought it needs something and it needs a sun. So I thought I would put a sun in it. So I started to make a sun. And again, I'm playing with patterns. I gave it some triangular shaped rays and I thought that wasn't enough so I put another circle underneath and made more rays of just straight lines and I still felt like that wasn't enough so I added some more pointed triangles shapes and then I decided to fill it in with some white in spots I wasn't sure about the sun part and I decided to leave the sun red and just do some of the points white to see what would happen. And I was quite pleased when I finished this part, it starts to look like lace. So I'm thinking I really like that effect and maybe I'll try that on another, on another card. Once you start making these, you can just line them up and make a whole bunch in an evening. 
and they're all different and they're fun to make and you could make them into cards or you could just consider them to be all wall art or you can scan them see that looks like lace uh, I was quite pleased with that lace I think I like that better than anything in that picture but I thought I wonder what it would look like with a mat on it and oh yes I touched up the places where I went over the black lines of the leaves and the tree trunk tree branch with my black Posca pen and that brings it back up makes it come forward again there I think we're finished and then I thought what if I put a mat on it and I know I have some little mats that I got for some photographs you know the little white mats you can buy at the at the drugstore where they sell photos and doesn't that look perfect putting a mat on something really brings it up now I think that would be a nice little gift for a friend a little piece of art for a wall you could also scan it in your computer and make a bunch of cards with this design. You could even change the color and maybe I'll show you how to do that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.